Well, you know, it was interesting. We were talking about how, you know, being, oh, that's so gay was the big put down. Mm -hmm. And everybody was very uptight in our community about that. And I reminded them, the older ones, that when we were in school, we used to say, oh, that's so lame. Yes. <laughs> And never did it occur to me that I was putting down people who were people with disabilities. Never thought about it. And yet, the choice yeah. of a word, you know, uh, Connie Rice, who's a wonderful right. activist on all civil rights issues here in L.A., says defamation always precedes annihilation. Mm -hmm. The notion that you'll begin with language or some attitude. I mean, this is why, Cynthia, I think mm -hmm. it resonates so much when you said, uh, and, and you as well, Norma, early hate crime prevention. So do you think it works? I mean, we're adults. We've got this notion about what works with kids. What makes you think it works? 100% believing that it works. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. For one thing, I want to just say generally the work that we're talking about here and the work that people are about in uh, teaching schools K through 12, it's about creating wise, compassionate citizens people who can relate to people of all kinds in fair and equitable, equitable ways. For one thing, we have a, a play in our book called Four Heroes, where we talk about just what you said earlier about you know, <clears throat> equality. We all believe in equality, but there's hard work in going about learning about and working towards getting everyone to treat each other equally. In Four Heroes, we, we meet Rosa Parks, Susan B. Anthony, mm. Cesar Chavez, and Harvey Milk. Mm. and learn how they each worked very hard to make sure everyone was treated with respect. In terms of the impact our work has, uh, long term, I received quite recently a fax from a teacher uh, where we performed, a teacher from a school where we performed cootie shots. And this fax came through quite early in the morning and it said, <laughs> I was just on the playground, wrote the teacher, and I saw these two children and they were calling each other names. And I was just about to step in and do something about it when another child stepped in and said, you guys shouldn't be calling each other names. Don't you remember cootie shots? Uh -huh. And the teacher said, so I didn't need to step in. They, they made, they apologized to each other and went back to playing. So there's a lasting impact to the work and we need to keep doing it.